The Prophet Muhammad ﷺ went and told the whole Muslim army, 2,500 people, Jabir has invited us for food. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what do you think Jabir did, Abdullah? He panicked. He panicked. Well, maybe not panic. Maybe but he eats them all. How is he going to feed 2,000 people? He can mix them all. There was, no, mix them all. there was only a tiny goat. There was no more. Oh. South Dubai. In association with Gifters. Your halal family friendly restaurant. Assalamu alaikum. We are the Ansaris and today I'm joined by. Your name? Okay. Salim al Asiri and Adam and. Abdurrahman al Asiri and. I think his name is Adam. It's Adam. Okay, next. Remember, everybody, we were talking about the, the story of Salman al Farisi. And Salman. how he became. Whoa. It was only Salman. Salman, okay. Farisi. Salman, and how he became Muslim. Salman. And he had the idea to protect the Muslims against the huge army that was going to attack them by. I had the idea. What by, was by, the idea? by making the ditch. Question. By making the ditch. I Good. Got a yes. I thought it was just Hold on, let's ask, let's ask this question. Salman died in the army from not the Muslims. No, he wasn't. Dad? Salman's, hold on, let me answer the question, Baba. Salman, his dad, was from Iran. He Remember, he lived far away, then he got on the caravan to Syria. Yeah. And from Syria, he went to <laughs> Medina. Dad, but... Yahamakillah. What do you say when someone sneezes? Make sure you click subscribe before you go on. And what do you say there? Yes, they can subscribe. Excellent, good. Abdurrahman, next question for you. What is the opposite of summer? Winter. Excellent. And spring. Winter. So this battle, it took place in the winter time. There were no fruits, it was very cold. The Muslims didn't have much food. So, Abdullah, if you're hungry, what do you do? And there's no food. I would... Eat my finger. <laughs> Eat your finger. I would it's not very healthy. You would starve. Okay, so the Muslims. I would not healthy. It's meat. It's meat. meat is healthy. But you don't know where your fingers have been. Yeah, I do. Have you cleaned them? Yeah. <laughs> so, you anyways, don't brush your teeth. You don't brush your teeth with your fingers. I'm glad you don't. So the Muslims, when they were hungry, what they used to do was they it's would tie man. a stone with a rope around their tummies. Do you know what that would do? Do you know what happens when you do that? it makes your tummy feel that it's full. So they had a stone and they tied it around with some rope. So it tricks your tummy into thinking that it's full and you're not hungry. So the Muslims were doing that. Before we continue, Abdullah, I want you to act this out. Everybody try and it, guess. Dad, why did the, the, Hold on, the wait, Abdullah. people that were surrounded had no food? Why did yes. they do that? They, because they had food. Yeah, the Muslims, they were inside. Yeah. No, the, the, the other ones that were Muslims, and then the Muslims trapped them. Oh, that was before. Why didn't they, why didn't they do that? That was before, after the Battle but of Badr. Why didn't they do that? I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Now, what animal is Abdullah acting? No? What do you think the word is? Goat. Goat. Well done. Okay, it's a goat. Now come back. mentioned goat is because there was one companion by the name of Jabir. He had a little goat and he said, look, the Prophet Muhammad is hungry. So he went to his wife and he said, let's get some meat from the goat and we can make some food and call the Prophet Muhammad oh, Wasallam. Now, Adam, I have a question for you. How do you make, tell everyone at home, how do you make an animal halal? I know. I'm asking Adam, how would you do that, Baba? You don't know. Okay, Abdul, how would you how would you make an animal? Water them. Yes. And, and you say a special dua. You say Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Akbar. Excellent. Good. So Jabir, he went to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said, "Come and eat some food." Now the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, imagine it was only a little goat. There was only food for a few people. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went and told the whole Muslim army. 2,500 people. Jabir has invited us for food. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what do you think Jabir did, Abdullah? He panicked. He panicked. Well, maybe not panic. Maybe but he eats them all. 
How is he going to feed 2,000 people? He can mix them all. There was, no, mix them all. there was only a tiny goat. There was no more. Oh. To find out, stay tuned until after competition the competition time. time. We're at home with the Azari. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question and in your workbooks you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azeris here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody. Where is the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, buried? Is it number one, Medina, or number two for Mecca? You don't know? Okay, you can guess. Is it number one? Mecca. Number one for Medina, number two for Mecca. Where, was the Prophet, where is the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, buried? Adam's written number two. Is that two, Adam? That's not fair. You feed it to Mecca and Medina. Adam so said two, Mecca. Abdullah, what do you think? Um, Have a guess. Two, Medina. You think Medina? Medina is number one. Oh. Okay, Adam no, said. Number one. Number one, Medina. Abdurrahman doesn't know. Abdullah, you're. Medina. Are you sure? You're looking at Murray, I can see that. No, she hasn't written any. Okay, I see two. Okay, Abdullah said Mecca. Murray, what do you say? One or two? Mariam said one. The correct answer wait, is Medina. Mariam and Adam got the correct answer, mashallah. So they moved up the leaderboard. Question number two, everybody. Which prophet could heal the sick, could cure oh, people that were sick? Is it number one, Prophet Isa, or number two, Prophet Musa? Rabbi zidni ilma. I've done it, mate. Okay, let's ask for Adam. Adam, what do you think? It's number one. Adam's written number one. No, Abdul... This is number one for the next. Okay. Abdul Rahman said number one, Prophet Isa. Then we done the first one. Okay. Sure. You do another. You have another go then. Abdullah no. said number one. No, Tuna. I have to Mariam, show the what do you think? Audience. Show the audience. Number one. Well done. So the correct. Adam, you didn't use number one as well. Well I done. Show the audience. Show the audience. The correct answer is number one, Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number three, everybody. Who built the ark? Was it number one for Prophet Noor or number two for Prophet Musa? Rabbi zidni ilma. Number one for Prophet Noor. Okay, I've got your two answers. But it might be Prophet Musa, it might be another prophet. Who was it? Adam? Who built I'm the ark? I'm smart in my brain. Mashallah, you are. But what's I'm the answer then? Answer. Number one. Are you number one, Adam. Number one, Abdurrahman. And number one, Mariam. Yes. No. So the correct answer is Prophet Nuh was the one who had no, and built the ark. Everyone got the correct answer. Mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So remember, everybody, Jabir was there. He told the Prophet وسلم, to come. The Prophet ﷺ invited the whole Muslim army, 2,500 people. And then when he got to the food, there was only a lit small amount of food. So the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ made dua. And then after he made dua... There was bananas! There was not bananas. There was, do you mean barakah? There was barakah in the food. And so it fed the entire army because the Prophet ﷺ made dua. So the lesson we learn is... Before we do anything, we should always make dua. Okay, everyone say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Click subscribe and bell. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs from theazhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.